Hey guys, what is up? It is Rishi from the Rishi Review here, and I'll be talking to you guys today about the Edifier E25 Luna Eclipse speakers. These things are beasts. Just to put it that way, they are beasts. They have incredible styling, insane sound performance, and amazing features. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by talking to you guys about the styling. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off with the front fascia of the speaker because this is probably what you're going to be seeing most of the time. And to be honest, I totally dig it. Number one, because I hate speaker grills. I mean, I know it protects the speaker from all the crap, but they look ugly and this just looks so cool. So here's the physical speaker here and then you have a tweeter right here. What I love about this is this little red bar that goes across it. It's kind of like a great red accent you have it, if, you, uh, if you won't be able to see the, uh, the red color on it. Um, then the, the red accent right here really kind of makes the speaker pop. Um, if you go ahead and move to the side, you can see that they have a space for the, the three uh, the three inch base radiators. Uh, there's one on the top and one on the bottom. And uh, as you can see, the, the lines here are just beautiful. It has this beautiful curved shape and then kind of a an undergoing or, or a, a concave kind of shape here. And then you have this other curved shape and then it goes flat. Um, as you can see the speaker is actually facing up so the sound will be projected that way. If we move on to the back of the speaker here's where we would have our main ports. Uh, this is not the main speaker so um, right here you only have this port that connects it to the main speaker which is the right speaker and then you can see this kind of this really cool pattern or shape actually. That looks fantastic in my opinion. And then finally this side looks exactly the same as the left side. Um, so that's the styling of the speaker and to be honest, it looks fantastic. It is a beautiful speaker. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to the sound. So the sound on the Luna Eclipses are just Phenomenal. It's it's friggin awesome. It's, it's amazing. And the reason I say this is because it has the ability to produce a wide dynamic range. And the reason for this being is because it actually has three separate units for the highs, the lows, and the mids. So the highs have the, uh, the tweeters right here. In fact, let me go ahead and focus on that. You can see it. But here's the tweeter. It has the bar right there. They're, it's a 19 millimeter tweeter. And that's actually a separate unit just for the highs. And the highs this thing produces is just it's incredible it's ridiculous from a, such a small and compact form um going down to the mids you have the main speaker this is a, a three and a half inch speaker um it produces mids like any other speaker it's it's pretty average to be honest the sounds the sound quality is still good i mean it's it's nothing exceptional but it's it's pretty good uh next you have the uh the lows and that's produced by this base radiator here you have uh, one on the bottom one on the top and they're, they're three inches you can see and uh, basically what happens is it pumps air towards each other and they reverberate and it creates this incredible bass sound it's it, it's actually ridiculous and uh, this is just why the sound is so amazing from these speakers it, it's I can't even describe how good it is I'm actually speechless um that's about it for the sound in fact I'm gonna go ahead and try to play a, a, a sound clip for you um, you might not actually be able to experience it but these are definitely amazing speakers, uh, so here it is. The, speak, the features of the speaker with you guys. So uh, the main and mo probably one of the most important features is that it's Bluetooth and you can connect it via Bluetooth 2.0 which is just in an awesome speaker or an awesome feature sorry because you can place the speakers anywhere in the room and uh, control it with your iPhone, your iPod, play whatever music you want 
In my case, I actually have my laptop sitting in the in between them, and it's uh, connected via the Bluetooth. Um, it also includes an auxiliary port, just in case you don't want to connect it via Bluetooth. Um, what's cool about the speakers is just a little thing is they have um, these uh, multi-touch buttons on the side, so they're not actual buttons. They're just multi-touch, like your mouse pad. Um, going into the more complicated speaker stuff, uh, they actually incorporate DSP and DRC. This is mainly for uh, distortion control, I think, if I'm not right, and probably um, just like an enhanced audio performance in general. Uh, oh, well, oh yeah, they also have dedicated power amps for the tweeters and the bass radiators, as I said before. Um, the bass radiators uh, control the lows, tweeters are the high, which is awesome that they have their own power supply for that. And uh, finally, they have a remote control. This pretty much does the exact same thing as the multi-touch buttons. Uh, increase volume, decrease volume, and power. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.